Hey everybody, I'm just going to show you how to install this. I'm not going to show you how to fully set this up. I'm going to have another tutorial for this afterwards. This is uh, our goal that we're going to get to eventually, but this is just the install because when I had issues with this beta so far, uh, when I initially installed it and uninstalled Wavelink 2.0, I went to go to try to create. Anytime I tried to click on anything, it would just stop. It wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to add anything. Uh, so there's a specific sequence that you have to do, especially if you have, if you're coming from Wavelink 2.0 to Wavelink 3.0. Um, even my XLR dock wasn't popping up. Now it is. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, what you want to do is you want to uninstall Wavelink, all of the Wavelink applications and software that you have on your computer. You can keep the Wavelink, uh, sorry, the uh, Elgato Stream Deck stuff, but not the Wavelink. So go ahead and right click your start menu, uh, click settings. On the left hand side will be apps. I have mine covered up because I have other stuff over there, uh, such as my email to hide, of course. <laughs> Um, anyways, once you're there, don't go into the find uh, settings, go to the next one, the one right at the top, but the second line over, um, type in Elgato. You should, if you have a stream deck, you have all the devices here. Uh, again, Wavelink is free for everybody. Now this is right now it's an open beta it was open October 16th, which is Pretty cool. This is going to be an extremely powerful software. I'll let you know like some issues that I've had just like for the install. This sequence has to happen, um, at least with my experience with the beta. Maybe not everyone's getting this, but I definitely did. So go ahead and uninstall these, both of them. If you have two, then uninstall them. If you only have one, just uninstall it too, but you probably have the Wavelink 2.0. Go ahead and uninstall this too. Uninstall. Yes. Uh, while this is uninstalling, see it says you need to disconnect your Wave uh, device. Sometimes it won't ask you this. So you got to make sure that to be on the safe side, unplug all your Stream Deck devices. All your Elgato devices that are connected to this are just going to make it a little bit easier, more simple. While we're doing this install, I just unplugged my Stream Deck devices, my XLR dock. You need to go ahead and hit OK. It didn't uninstall, so go ahead and try to un uninstall again. Yes. If you're uninstalling Wavelink 2.0, it's going to ask you if you want to save the settings. Go ahead and hit yes. Save the settings in case you want to revert back to the Wavelink 2.0. Uh, if for some reason this isn't doing it for you, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to wind up losing the support for it later. But uh, while this is uninstalled, I'll try to give you a bit more information. Uh, right now, the plugins for Wavelink for the Stream Deck, if you have a Stream Deck, are not working. They're in the process of putting some updates for that so that the Wavelink 3.0 will work with the Stream Deck after the update. I don't know if it's going to be after the beta or if it's going to be the, during the stable release or it's going to be one of the next updates. Anyways, keep your Stream Deck devices, especially the Wavelink devices, unplugged the entire time until we fully have the thing installed and we restart again. So you're going to go ahead and restart your computer now and then I will see you here in a second. All right, welcome back for your first reboot. We're going to probably do one more reboot and then we should be able to be well on our way for the initial setup and finish with it. So we're just going to go ahead and open up any browser of your choosing and you're going to search Elgato Software Downloads or Download, whichever one works. Click on the one that says Elgato slash Downloads. Go there. You're going to see all their software here. Anyways, you're going to see Wavelink 2.0. Uh, you want to go to test beta versions. Right now, that's where you'll see the marketplace connect for OBS and you'll see the Wavelink 3.0 beta. Go ahead and download the Wavelink 3.0 beta. Continue. I've already downloaded it previously, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Remember, 
while you're doing this install and you're doing your reboots, keep all the Stream Deck devices unplugged, especially the Wavelink devices. Be on the safe side, even the Stream Deck ones disconnected. Otherwise, this will not install properly and it will not work. At least in my experience from when I was messing with it, it was very frustrating. Go ahead and do launch with ready, install. <clears throat> Read through this if you like, hit accept, yes, next. Read through this if you like, accept and next, next, install. This is going to set up, the reason why we have to reboot is because when you're installing drivers of any sort in Windows, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but for those who don't know this, you have to reboot it, otherwise it will not configure properly on Windows. And especially when it comes to audio drivers, any drivers really, but audio drivers too. You install NVIDIA drivers, you install AMD drivers, whatever. You want to reboot after an install. When you get to this, let Algala Wavelink access your microphone. This is going to be able to access your Wavelink devices or Wave devices, I guess is the more proper term. And it'll let you access your third party devices. I'm going to show you how to set that up in the next video as well. Go ahead and hit yes. Hit finish. This should pop up. Right now, I don't have anything, many Wavelink devices connected. You can still use the mix for some of you if you have this and all you have is a third-party microphone, totally fine. You don't even need a Stream Deck to use this, which is really cool. You just have to click, keep it open and keep it clicked and maybe a second uh, click on it in the second stream, screen. Um, I'm going to show you how to set all this up on the next video. This is just showing you how to install it properly so you can add channels. Before, if you don't install it properly, you might try to create a channel, and then you'll click this, and you can't. It won't let you. It's just going to lag and then nothing happens. I'm going to go ahead and edit and remove this. That's my third party microphone. And we are going to close it, close this, and we're going to reboot again. Make sure you reboot and make sure you keep everything unplugged. Once you see your BIOS screen, where you're going to get into the BIOS, that's when you can plug in your Wavelink devices. I'm going to go ahead and reboot and plug in my Wavelink devices while it's rebooting and I see that screen and then we'll come back to this. I'll be back shortly. All right, welcome back. I do have my Stream Deck stuff plugged in and my Wave XLR plugged in as well. I do have a different type of pod mics, but it's plugged into the XLR part of the Stream Deck Plus. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna pin this to my taskbar just for easy access right next to my Stream Deck. Open that up and as you can see, you can see my XLR dock. Right now I'm talking in the video with my XLR at this moment. This really concludes the video so that everything's set up properly. The only thing I'm gonna do is go through the setup for the microphone and then adding the microphone for a third party mic. And then that concludes the video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you have a wave device, the next one will be the third party mic. Just hit continue. Follow these directions. It's easy, just put your thumb on your chin and put your pinky on your XLR microphone or whatever wave device microphone you have. Continue. So this is gain. If you're not talking very well, it'll say, oh, you're too quiet. If you're talking too, too loud, it'll go all the way up. Same thing when you're doing the gain. So you'll be like, oh, it's too loud, too loud. It's probably too loud for you right now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go down. Uh, it, for me, it seemed like it was about 50 to 60. It's going to be very between every single one of you with how much you talk and how loud you talk. So I'm going to leave it at 55 for me. Go ahead and continue. Continue. And done. I'll go over the effects later as well. Go ahead and hit uh, personal mix first. And then if you got voice focus... This will be here. I'm going to do a low cut off. Settings done. We're going to go to mix. I'm going to delete this because I was probably echoing so you could hear it through the headphones. Um, next, initial setup. 
we're I'm going to mute my mic here in a second, but we're going to add the third party microphone. Very simple, create a channel, add a microphone, voila. All right, well, this concludes the initial setup tutorial. I'll be back with explaining how to set everything else up under the mixes in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless everyone.